Welcome to the final ESP Bite Size for the T-Level Education and Childcare ESP. Let's have a look at task four. Task four is a reflective account of the student's ESP journey. They have two hours to complete the reflective account of their journey and should ensure that they cover each of the bullet points on the screen, which is in the brief. How well they felt that they conveyed their planned approach and activity plan, how well they feel since completing task one and how they meet the anticipated outcomes of their approach and how they would improve any element of their work. There are 12 marks in total for task four. Students will gain higher marks when they show analytical and evaluative skills in their reflective account, particularly when they identify improvements to their own knowledge, planning, skills and future practice. If evaluations are basic or very descriptive statements or do not include reference to improvement, this will limit marks awarded for this task. It's really important that students are both evaluative and analytical in their uh, recount. And if they don't cover all the points that you can see on the screen there, marks would also be lost as well, particularly um, if they're not making links to future practice. To help your students with this task, there is a previous CPD session which was delivered, which explored developing reflective students. And in particular, it looked at um, the reflective element of the core, but it did pick out how those skills can be used to support students in the particular aspects of the ESP, which require reflective practice. This might be something that you want to use as a revision with your students if you haven't already seen it. Um, but that idea that your students within their research notes, if they're aware that task four is going to be a reflective account, are they making sure that what they learned in element nine about reflective practice is included in those notes to support them in task four? On the previous screen, I'll just knit back actually so that you can see it. You can see there the three reflective models which were covered in the qualification spec. Students may choose one of those to structure their reflective account. If they have experimented with these approaches in placement or in college to reflect on the progress that they've been making and they have one in particular, that helps them to be reflective as a practitioner, then they might choose to make a note of that within their research notes so that when they come to this task, they've got a framework that they can use to structure their two hours. But making sure um, that they follow a model of reflection which helps their writing flow and so that it covers all the points that were on the previous screen and that it's coherent can help them. And the idea that in this task they will be demonstrating their knowledge and understanding of 9.3, the understanding the importance of receiving that feedback. So what did they receive in task two from the feedback from their peers and how did that help them in task three and in task 2B where they amended their plan um, that whole journey that they've been on and remembering that this is in relation to them achieving the brief that was set in the ESP. Not just being generic about being reflective, but that it's what was the brief? What were you asked to deliver? How have you delivered that? What improvements did you make from feedback and how was that important to you throughout the project? And what would you do in future practice? What have you learned? What would you put into place? What would you do again? What would you not do again? 
um, and then that goes into 9.4 where they will be demonstrating how they can meet their own developmental needs. What else do they need to do as practitioners? I think this is a really exciting way for students to finish off the ESP where they get to celebrate their own successes, but they get to put into practice that key skill of any early years teacher or any assisting teaching student going into practice that they are a reflective practitioner. 